Good afternoon, Blazers, and welcome back to InfoFlow from Home. Today is Friday, May 21st. I'm Kanayo. And I'm Hunter. In local news, Montgomery County surpassed over 70,000 cases of COVID-19 as of Tuesday, May 18th. According to the Maryland Department of Health, just over 46% of county residents are fully vaccinated against COVID, while 58.5% have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Montgomery County has begun implementing the second phase of the three-step reopening plan. The second phase, which was based on 60% of the population getting the first dose of the vaccine, will include removing outdoor capacity restrictions, allowing businesses and restaurants to operate at 75% total capacity, and increasing the capacity for indoor events to 250 people. Last Thursday, the CDC released new guidance which recommends that fully vaccinated people no longer have to wear masks or socially distance. However, this has created some confusion as local governments have taken different approaches to rolling back restrictions. For example, on Saturday, Maryland ended its statewide mask mandate almost entirely, while on Monday, Montgomery County ended its mask mandate for fully vaccinated people, unless a business still requires masks, which most businesses still do. And the city of Baltimore requires you to wear a mask no matter what. The state of Maryland and the CDC still recommend that unvaccinated people keep a mask on unless at a small outdoor gathering with fully vaccinated people or at an outing with other members of their household. Last Friday, the county launched the Take Your Shot video contest for middle and high schoolers. Students can submit a 30 to 45 second public service announcement, or PSA, on one of three themes. One, why everyone should get a COVID vaccine. Two, what makes you want to get vaccinated and three, what we can all do when we are vaccinated. Up to 25 videos will be posted on the county's social media cha channels, and three middle school and high school entries will receive prizes. The county also says students can earn five SSL hours if their video meets all of the requirements. To learn more, go to the link below. Many only dream about winning the lottery, but for one Rockville woman, that dream came true. The 20-year-old who wishes to remain anonymous bought the ticket at the Giant on Hungerford Drive. They expected to come home with nothing more than some groceries, but ended up winning $1.4 million, as the winning store of the Giant will receive a bonus of $1,400. When asked how she would spend her winnings, the woman said she wanted to explore various investment opportunities. And now, let's watch the latest episode of Teacher Teacher Trivia. Hey Blazers, welcome to Teacher vs. Teacher Trivia. The rules are simple, whoever raises their hand first will get a chance at answering. However, if they fail to answer correctly, the second contestant will get a chance to steal the points. Today's contestants are Miss Neatly and Miss Glavian. The first question is, what year was the first iPhone released? I'll take a guess. 1997. 2001. 2007. Yay. Wow! The second question is, in the 2007 Pixar film Ratatouille, what is the name of the main character? Remy? Number three is, what is the body's biggest organ? Sorry. The skin? I was going to say that. Wow. Just so all of y'all out there know, I was going to say that. Number four is, what novel did Herman Melville publish in 1851? Miss Livia? Moby Dick? Oh. Number five is, what animal is on the Levi's logo? A horse? Looks like kangaroo. <laughs> You're on the board now. Okay. Yes! Number six is, which actor plays Edward in the 1990 Tim Burton film Edward Scissorhands? Hands. Oh, who was first? Me! I had it up before she even finished the question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Johnny Depp. Number seven is, what planet is the hottest in the solar system? Venus. Oh, good job. <laughs> Number eight is, what was the first U.S. state? Yes, oh, really. Virginia? I was going to say Delaware. Okay. Aww, look at you. <laughs>
<laughs> I feel like I've learned a lot. And we know you only learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, Jade. Blair SGA is accepting applications for its student leadership class during the 2021 to 2022 school year. The application process will require students to receive a teacher recommendation and attend an interview in addition to filling out a Google form. The application will be due on May 24th. If students have any questions or concerns about applying, they can reach out to the email below. That is all for today's show. Check out our website at bnconline.net to submit any announcements and follow us on Instagram at BNC underscore Blair and on Twitter at BNC Blair. We'll be back on Tuesday with the latest edition of InfoFlow from Home. If you haven't already, go get vaccinated and stay safe. Have a fantastic Friday, Blazers.